This is Ally Khan Champions Explorer to base. Ally Khan Champions Explorer, this is base. Have you reached your destination? We are approaching now. Your mission is to find the Ally Khan Champions on Earth. Yes. So the Colorectal Cancer Alliance National Conference can begin. Good luck Ali Khan Champions Explorer. First champion found. Roger. Hi, my name is Shell Benner. I'm a stage 3C patient, survivor, and advocate from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Second champion found. Roger. Hi everyone, I'm Asia Thomas from Northern Virginia, and I was a caregiver for my mother, Avis Williams. We are picking up multiple champions. Keep them coming. I'm Kathy Bowers, and I'm a 10-year Stage 3 survivor from Arlington, Virginia. Hello, I'm Howard Brown from Birmingham, Michigan. I'm a Stage 4 patient, survivor, and advocate. Hi, my name is Jean DiCarlo Wagner. I'm a late-stage colorectal cancer survivor, and I live in San Diego. Hi, my name is Melissa Trow, and I am a patient from Sunapee, New Hampshire. Hi, my name is Jason Roberts, and I'm a survivor from North Babylon, New York. Hi, my name is Carly Taylor from Columbus, Ohio, and I was a caregiver for my 22-year-old son, Connor. Hi, my name is Kim Tolles, and I am a caregiver from Toledo, Ohio. Hi, my name is Sarah Wood. I'm a patient from Frederick, Maryland. Hi, my name is Vanessa Gigliotti. I'm a survivor from New York City. We have two more. We need every ally in this mission to end colorectal cancer. Hi, my name is Kim Newcomer. I'm a survivor from Janesville, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Val. I live in Orlando, Florida, and I was a caregiver. Ali Khan Champions Explorer to base. This is base. Mission complete. Ali Khan Countdown starts now. Congratulations and enjoy. T minus 10. Welcome to Ali Khan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to AllyCon 2021. I'm Michael Sapienza, the CEO of the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. Thank you to our AllyCon champions for opening up the conference. All of the speakers we have lined up for sharing their expertise, our sponsors, and of course, to all of you, our allies, for being here. We're here because colorectal cancer, as we all know, can be deadly. But there is a lot of room for hope. Hope paired with a positive mindset propels us forward. We will all want to see the day that colorectal cancer is stopped. Right now, with early detection and high quality treatment, two thirds of patients will survive a colorectal cancer diagnosis. Not every patient has an equal experience, however. Access to care, support, and financial means are critical. Intangibles like your mental health and a sense of belonging also play a role, being part of a community, as are the stages of diagnosis. That's where AllyCon comes in. We want to share with you the best scientific information available to stay a step ahead of and overcome this disease. AllyCon is an unparalleled opportunity to learn about the latest in testing, treatment, survivorship, and more from world-class experts. We will have moments to engage with one another and moments to reflect. 
My hope is that you can apply the things you will learn over the next couple of days to your own journey and help others with your knowledge too. You hear it a lot from the Alliance, but we are a nation of allies. We need each other, and here we have that critical support today. Please refer to the agenda in the Whova app to find the sessions most aligned with you. The Whova app is also a great way to connect with others throughout the conference. You can use chat, emojis, etc. We will have opportunities for you to answer questions during these sessions as well. I do wish that we were really together, though, in the same place. I'm actually in the office uh, in Washington, D.C., but really there's only two or three people here. I look forward to the moment when we can have AllyCon again in person. And I think we're going to getting there. The health and safety of our patient and caregiver community is priority number one, which is why we've opted to stay virtual this year. However, I'm excited to announce that we will soon release more information about an in-person Alley reunion for March to celebrate not only March, Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, but what truly makes the Alliance special, our passionate community, you. We really need each other. It's been a challenging year, 18 months, almost two years. We've lost numerous people who are close to us and actively involved in the Alliance community. I know a lot of us are feeling that right now. There is no easy way to cope with someone's passing, anger, heartache, frustration. They're all normal and perfectly acceptable feelings. If you've lost someone close to you, I hope you're getting the support you need, and I hope you know that your Alliance family is here for you. If you need to talk, you can always call our helpline, just so you know, 877-422-2030. I know that sounds like an infomercial, but again, 877-422-2030. We also have a grief-focused online chat and a grief room in ally to ally our online community platform. When we lose someone, what I ask myself is, what would this person want me to do? And every time, the answer is to keep going to keep doing everything I can as the CEO of this organization to end this horrible disease. So that's what we do at the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. AllyCon is only one of the ways in which we do that, and I'm glad you're here for it. For those of you that are new to the Alliance, or as a lot of our folks call them, newbies, I thought I'd share a little bit about us. The Alliance is an organization with a clear vision. We will end colorectal cancer in our lifetime. I know it's easy to say that, but I truly mean it. You know, my mom, when my mom died from colon cancer in 2009, it devastated my family. The fact that the killer comes from within makes it all the more unbearable. But in the midst of my sadness, an even more powerful emotion took a hold of me. It was an uncompromising, fervent desire to stop the pain caused by this disease that was put upon our family. So out of my basement, I founded the Chris for Life Colon Cancer Foundation in memory of my mom, Chris. Eventually, Chris for Life merged with the Colon Cancer Alliance, which then became the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. We have grown to a staff of over 55 and an annual budget of almost 15 million and a host of patient-focused programs that touch every aspect of your journey. We have been able to, this is incredible, serve nearly 2 million patients and caregivers with certified navigators. We've been able to match 4,400 buddies through our buddy program. We've invested $5 million in cutting edge research, including two projects that just last year went on to get millions of dollars in NIH funding. We've provided 4,100 individuals with financial assistance, including more than 1,000 colonoscopies. And in the last year, we reached 45 million people with our screening during COVID awareness campaign, driving more than 10,000 people to start screening navigation. And this is just the beginning. I have never been more hopeful for the future of our organization or for the end of colorectal cancer. I thought I'd pull back the curtain a bit and talk about what we have planned for the upcoming year as well. These initiatives will all benefit our patient community. And they include plans to, this is the best, launch a disruptive movement to make colon cancer famous. Finally, we need to get an A-list celebrity involved, and we will, rejecting the stigma, branding this disease as the preventable cancer, and ultimately inspiring a rising tide of colorectal cancer screenings and funding to save lives. 
Second, develop a one-stop shop personalized patient navigation system for every patient and caregiver, meeting each person where they are with the help they need most. Imagine, you know, you go to your doctor and you get this information and then you come home and you worry about this. This is going to be a one-stop shop that will help you navigate your, your entire journey. Third, address health disparities. Most of you know that African Americans in this country are 20% more likely to have, to, excuse me, have higher and 20% higher incidence and 40% higher mortality. We have to ensure that every patient can receive equitable screening and treatment no matter where they live, who they look like, and who they are, period. And lastly, and chart this new future for colorectal cancer screening, excuse me, colorectal cancer research. Strategically funding critical and innovative research while connecting patients to potentially life-saving studies. You know, I'll just say something about colorectal cancer research. From 2016 to 2018, nationally, there was virtually no increase in colorectal cancer research funding. While we saw a 33, if not more, percent increase in breast cancer research, prostate cancer research, and others, it is time for colon cancer to have its place and we have to play a huge part, getting more junior invest investigators into the field so there is more money to be able to get more ideas and more biomarkers and more treatments for you. I don't wanna go on too long about the Alliance because this conference is really about you. It's about your families, it's about your journey, it's about getting information, it's about your health. To get the most out of this conference, I again advocate for downloading the Whova app and connect with your peers. Mindset is so important to overcoming this disease. By tuning in, learning, and supporting each other, you clearly have a warrior mentality, which is what's needed to end this disease in individuals and around the world. I am every day inspired by the strength and resilience of all of you in our entire community. Please know that the Colorectal Cancer Alliance is here for you. Thank you so much for attending AllyCon.